Hey everybody, it's uh, Thomas Love, and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to do on how to do Lightroom at blazing speed. Uh, I know most of you know how to do Lightroom, or we're gonna. I'm going to show you some very fast techniques about how I go through tons of photos in a quick amount of rate. Um, first of all, the key to the system is the flagging system. Hold on one second. Let me deflag. Uh, now the flags are removed. Control D to remove everything. Now we're going to start out here at the top. Let me rotate this. Whoops. There we go. All right. For now, we're going to use. We're, we're going to let go of the mouse. I know this is going to be tough for some of you. Let go of the mouse, and you're going to put your finger on the tilde key. The tilde key is above the tab and a left of the numeral one position. And by flicking that on and off, you will either pick a or unpick the flag. Now with your right hand on the left and right, you're going to scroll through. And by the way, if you hit the return or enter button, you'll scroll through each of the pictures. So um, my zoom in is just a little bit too much. You'll notice it here. It's at one to one. I think I'm going to do, uh, whoops, I went the wrong direction. Perfect. So it's about one quarter of the actual image. You can see up here on the left hand side where my mouse is. All right, I can hit return. So as I'm scrolling left, if I notice it, oh, I'm actually, if I go left, whoops. So I'm going to go. And for some reason, I don't know why, I like this maybe because I have a little more space. I'll flag that and we'll go to the next two. And you notice I have to take two sets of pictures. This one seems to be a little more in focus. So that's all right. I like this one better. I like this one. I would like that one. And then we've got. We got one blue and we got one like that. Okay. Now we come over here and the bot, not in the bottom right hand corner, but all the way it says filters. We want to turn. So that's how I've completely done through in about a 50, 10 seconds. I've actually gone through. Now these are the pictures I picked out and uh, you'll notice that they're all flagged. Now we're going to come right over here and let's, let's put on the first one. And let's see if we can do some adjustments. I don't think it's dark enough, and I think we need a little more color. But uh, you can always reset it. Um, you can do auto and auto. I'm not a big fan of it, but you know it's a start. Um, so we can always come back over here, and I can always come down to. I was using fluorescent lights at the time. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. We need a lot more black, and I think it's just. I'm screwing it up. All right. Let's just see if we can just. Do like that. No, nope, can't do that. You get Control Z, and we'll go. Let's go to the next one. So we have this one. Let's see if we can just bump up the black a little bit, so it's a little bit darker. And let's see about bumping up the color. And it's not too bad. Maybe a little more warmth out of it. There we go. How about something like this? We can come over here. Oh. All right. And uh, let's get a little more color. I know I'm boosting it. But it's my picture. I get to do what I want. That's if you hold down the command key. Oops. If you hold down the the option key, you notice that the whole thing speeds together, and I can do like that. Perfect. Well, maybe no. How about something like that? Yeah. As like that. Hmm. So let's go through and let's make some adjustments. It looks like I've already made some adjustments to these. Okay. That's how quickly, all right, then we come back over here to library and I come over here to the grid and I'm gonna go look at them one more time. Make sure they're all nice and neat. Oops, let me hit the return. Make sure they're, I'm all happy with them, all right. Then we come over here to file and we're gonna export them. And if you notice over here on the export, uh, I have some, I have the usual presets, email, uh, burn full, full size images. I don't know why I have that, but well, because it's in the presets. And then I have mine. I have, can go directly to desktop. I can make a Facebook, an HDTV, oh, excuse me, a high definition technology, or an, a Zenfolio on Instagram. You notice that when I click on Zen Instagram, 
it automatically here makes it for 612 and 612 at 150 um, and it also puts my watermark and I have a this Instagram watermark for that all right but we're not gonna do that we're just gonna put it on desktop and then we're gonna hit, hit uh, holding the shift key oops cancel and uh, let's go export one more time I'm sure there's a shortcut yeah you can hit uh, command shift E to, to yeah and then we can all go in there and do the presets and just hit export and all these will go to a de will go to my desktop or you could put them into a subfolder if you want and I can change the name pens perfect and I can just hit export all right that was it for today I'll be uh, presenting a new video in the next day or two